Okay, today's off-grid cooking is going to be done indoors. Rationale for that is the outdoor temperature is currently 2.2 degrees Celsius, which is basically, sorry, 2.5 degrees Celsius. That's the warmest it's been all day today, and I really don't feel like going outside to do my cooking. So we're cooking on alcohol using a Trangia burner and the Tatanka stove as well using aluminium mess tins to do the cooking so I'm going to make myself something in one and I'm going to make rice in the other and we'll see whether it's going to be nice here we go okay it hasn't been going too long we're getting a bit of simmering action with the rice already and over here we got buckwheat and we got red lentils uh, it's starting to steam quite nicely and there's occasional little bubbles forming don't quite know if you can see them but you know it's there so, you know, this is obviously an experiment to see whether we can use two separate stoves as two separate hobs and actually do proper cooking, not just your typical standard uh, sailing trip or camping trip type beans on whatever kind of cooking. Okay, remember all off-grid technology. We got homemade bioethanol flames going there. Whoops, there we go. Homemade bioethanol flames going under there. And I think this is really rather beautiful. Okay. Off grid at home. Okay. The rice is starting to fluff up quite nicely. Obviously the Tatonka stove provides a smaller flame but it's better for simmering so I'm hoping that's going to do the rice okay after over a period of half an hour. Buckwheat on the other hand with the red lentils going like a lunatic. Flames overlapping, I don't know whether you can see that, but you know this is perfectly viable for you know proper domestic cooking. Either in an emergency situation or if you just don't want to have to um, give your money to the energy companies and you've got a supply of bioethanol as an alternative to let's say gas. Alright, so so far basically looking very nice. There we go. That's bubbling along nicely too. Should have myself another meal in what another 10-15 minutes and it's going to be splendid. Might add a bit of tomato puree to that. Buckwheat and red lentils are more or less almost done. Nice brown colour to the liquid. Put it on to simmer on the tatonka which is of course slightly lower temperature. The rice is also almost done but giving it a bit more of a temperature boost putting it on the remains of the uh, fuel stock within the brass trangia which is almost running out now but that will be done within about two minutes and then I'll have had a fully cooked meal. So essentially the experiment as to whether you can actually do proper cooking using uh, off-grid technology in the form of alcohol stoves has been proven 110%. This is absolutely totally sexy. Et voila, a uh, buckwheat and lentil plus rice lunch, a couple of lines of tomato puree to make it look nice and give it a bit of extra nourishment, and hey presto, off grid lunch. You don't actually need to be on grid if you get your system working, okay? You don't always need it.